hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I'm hoping I can kind of make this a short video. Um, there's really not a lot of things, but the last couple, it's kind of like in, like there's a lot to see with them. But uh, y'all are here for the Stampin' Up, and then I I bought some pop-up books because they're gorgeous for one, and some of y'all know I'm slowly um, adding to my collection for future grandchildren. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So the first thing I'm going to share is the stamp and die. Um, these, I, I believe, are out of the, the, the new holiday catalog. And um, it is the Santa's Delivery, and I got the coordinating dies, but they are so stinking cute. Um, I love, the Santa's okay. I love the train, the penguin. I love all the, like, add-ons to, like, you can, you know, make the puff coming out of the, the smokestack. You can put presents and candy canes in the, you know, the the car behind it. Um, you make the season jolly, elf approved, and sleigh delivered. Uh, Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is coming to town, and special delivery just for you. And some of those can be stamped, like, right in there. So anyway, so there's that. And then let's take a peek at the dies. I really like, um, I know that they were originally what with Sizzix, who used to do their dies, but I don't know who they changed to, um, but I like it. So you have you have the dies for the signs. Um, the wagon, the tree, the presents, the penguin, the candy canes, even the little smoke deals for the smokestack. Um, you have a wreath here. I am not positive what those are supposed to be. And that is a ribbon that I guess we can put on the wreath. Um, and I believe this is supposed to be the train track that the train is on. Oh. Well, I was going to say it's probably for the stars, but I don't, doesn't look like it. Anywho. Oh, yes, it is. So you can turn them different directions, I guess. That makes no sense to me. <coughs> Anywho. So I got that from Stampin' Up. And then I got this paper out of the, the Celebrations. And I'm going to place a couple more because the only thing in the celebrations I want is this paper. <coughs> so I'm going to place a couple orders just so I can get like two more of these because they're so pretty. It's called um, Rings of Love. So we have flowers on one side and then we have this on the other. We have some fall leaves. Obviously, two of each. Then we have like a like a distressed page watercolor with watercolor uh, leaves. Loving these little robins. <coughs> and that's gorgeous. This y'all is what it looks like when you do the like the brushos or the uh, Ken Oliver color bursts or the shimmer powders from tonic that's kind of like the effect you get uh the other way you can do that is if you put down salt <coughs> put watercolor down and then put salt on it and salt will cause that as well but y'all know this was my kryptonite right here i'm a sucker for buildings and those are pretty you know, these are cute. <coughs> Sorry. 
I love this. There's a die set. One of the die sets has um, like logs, the end cuts with like embossing and I'm getting that next. And then this is gorgeous. The, the colors in this are just beautiful. So there's that. And so my goal is to pick up um, at least two, if not three more of these uh, before they sell out um, because I'll, it's beautiful. You've got some Christmas in there, some fall in there. Um, some of it you could probably use for spring and it just doesn't want to behave so we'll just stick it there for now. So that's it. That's all there is that I got for Stampin' Up! Ugh. I gotta adjust. My knee hurts. So I picked up four books. The fourth one arrived today and I'm, I'm actually, I was excited about it but I'm upset. Because it is labeled as new, but it is it is all beat up like it's been on and off somebody's bookshelf. So I'm gonna see about returning it and getting it replaced. But Mirabelle's Missing Valentines, I just thought it was so adorable, and um, it's basically the story. You know, she is Valentine's. There's a party, and she's done up Valentine's. She's scared to give them. And um, she actually start loses them <laughs> on the way. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. It's a really, really cute and adorable book. But like I said, I, I ordered it from Amazon. And I'm going to reach out because that is um, in her horrendous condition. I mean, the book is fine. But the dust cover is awful. And... Um, I paid for a, a, a new book, not one that's been through the ringer. So there's that. This next one isn't really a pop-up book, but it is a neat book. Um, it's called A Walk Through the Woods, and it's by um, Louise Gre uh, Greg. Greg? But I want it for the illustrations, and they're illustrated by Helen Musselwhite. And it's kind of like, kind of like down the rabbit hole kind of deal here. So as you can see here, it's kind of 3D-ish as you're looking through the book. So as we go further into the forest, the scene keeps changing. And it's just a really pretty book. My grandparents always had wonderful books for us uh, growing up. And so I always looked forward to every time going over, you know, doing a new book. So. So I got that. And if you don't like crinkly noises, well, the last three are pop-up books. They are still in their protective sleeves. And I'm going to keep them in their protective sleeves until it's time for them to be enjoyed. But they're also kind of for me because they're just beautiful. Um, these are all I believe this. No, they're not. Hold on. So they're supposed to be part of a series. Okay. So there, there is a series of them. Two of them kind of go together. This last one doesn't, but they do. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this one's called Flora, a botanical pop-up book um, by Eugene Kim, um, il illustrated by Catherine Selbert and text by Nicole Yen. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll save to the end as far as putting them back in their protective sleeves. First off, they're just beautiful. They're well made. Um, just so you can see. Then they're in a, a, quite a few of them. I think the, at least the other two are interactive. So it's, it's kind of hard to see. This one doesn't pop up like it should. Um, but, you know, there's stuff to read there. 
There's beautiful poppies. My sister who does bees, she would love this one. I'm trying to make sure I don't break any because, you know, these things can be... Okay, now see, this one says uh, lift, so then you lift it up, and there's a little story about uh, the bats. <clears throat> there's a hummingbird down here. Y'all know I'm a sucker for this one because uh, I love and strawberries. So, again, they're interactive, so you lift the wing. It tells you something about... Um, birds and their droppings and then here it's like lift the blueberries there's a like a little i'd say magpie there and then there's this one and you got the frog and i think he's supposed to he's supposed to stand up but he's not doing it but he's supposed to stand up oh yeah, here we go. So this is an interactive one. Ready? So pull it and the frog stands, uh, jumps, and you got something to read there. And then this one, you lift it and it talks about the plants. Look at that. Just beautiful. So that is Flora. Then we have Leaves, an autumn pop-up book. Um, paper Engineering by Eugen Kim. So same... Um, so these are all pop-ups by Eugen Kim. There's just different illustrators. Um, yeah, there's just different illustrators. There's, there's, uh, I think one more book and I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, or I didn't really care for it, I guess. There we go. Obviously, we're going into the woods. It is fall. This is a very interactive book. Got to pull the leaf, and you just see the leaves change colors. And as you go through the books, they get more intricate. So there's the pile of leaves, you know, that we all want to go jump into. And it's telling you to lift that one, and then lift that one. <clears throat> there's a little hedgehog playing in there so cute and here's a frog <clears throat> okay ready we're doing some more interactives ready I'm supposed to this one's hard to get a hold of but pull it <gasps> there's a froggy and there's a froggy he's supposed to stand oh yeah he's supposed to stand up but he's not doing it and then lift that leaf and you can see a spider underneath Oh, lift that one. The hedgehog curls up in a prickly ball to sleep, its spine sticking out for protection. Little, little squirrel. Uh, those are chipmunks in there. Those aren't squirrels. That's a squirrel. And then, again, there's interactive bits in there. Pull that down. Um... something anyway so there's that <clears throat> all the mushrooms that grow this one here is actually supposed to like kind of like get bigger and fatter but it's not doing it <clears throat> And now we're looking underground. Um, leaf line burrows are cozy for dozing. And we have a skunk, some mice, a chipmunk. And then there's that. So, a beautiful book. And then the last one is shells. Y'all know I love this one. Um, hey, Karma. I hope she doesn't get up here and make a mess. Okay. Come here. Yeah. Uh, so this isn't going to work very well. So we have shells. 
Um, again, the paper engineering is by Eugen Kim, and the illustrations are by Lindsay Dale Scott. Y'all know I'm a sucker for the beach. I'm sure my friend um, Karen, she's K is for Karen here on YouTube. Um, she would love these. Um, but I did get these on Amazon. So this says um, lift. It says to do something, but oh, there we go. I knew it was a Nautilus. And then over here, we can pull out some seashells hiding underneath the sand. Learn some more stuff about seashells. Um, Shelly sells she seashells by the sea. Hey, get off of there. No. I don't know what she did. She did something. And then here you're supposed to pull and see they move. And then you've got this one. I love hermit crabs. Y'all, I had hermit crabs as pets when I was little. And I don't know if you knew that, but when they grow... When they grow too big for a shell, they actually get out of their shell and go to a bigger shell. So they're really actually pretty ugly. <laughs> so that, and then the sea turtles. And you see this, the grouper over here, he's, I think it's a grouper, is, um, oh! Is opening his mouth when I do that one see and then this one you pull out and the octopus comes out so I love this book there's that let's see what's hiding here and then there and then the last one oh not the last one talks about pearls Here's the last one. <clears throat> you see the sea turtle back there and the octopus. Um, usually the last, there's the hermit crab. So they kind of incorporate all the animals that we see along the journey um, on the last page. So super excited about these. There is another book. I'm going to try to find it and get a hold of it. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to put the links to these. <clears throat> to, on Amazon. Um, I did read a lot of the reviews. So like if you do buy these. Um, do check your books right away. Because some people said that. Uh, some of their books came like the items were torn. So. And I checked mine. Mine were all good. Thanks goodness. Except for Mirabelle's. Missing Valentine's. But. Um, so there's that. Um, I have decided I'm going to post this as a bonus video today. Um, no, I'm posting it on Friday and then the next video you're going to see Saturday will be the, um, I will be doing the video, um, so that you guys can see the different, uh, Stampa Rosa house mouse stamps that Miss Maria has left. And, um, maybe you'll be able to add some of them to your house mouse uh, collections. So be on the lookout for that. I will be sharing more details um, coming soon. And um, again, it'll be first come, first serve. She's not going to hold them for anybody. Um, she'll set them aside, then let you know your total. And I'm not sure. She might give you like a day or so to pay, I think. Um, I got to ask her about that. And um, But you guys have seen the quality of the stamps that I have gotten from her so far. And, um, yeah, so I know some of you are all excited and I'll be seeing y'all again Saturday. Um, love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.